All right, welcome back. We learned about the six classes of nutrients in our previous segments. Now we're going to learn about how this all comes together on Nutrition Label. So before we move any farther, I want you to take 30 seconds and hit pause to draw me your most detailed nutrition label. And we have nutrition labels on the foods we eat, the drinks we drink. All of these items contain a nutrition label. Okay, I want you to channel that in your brain. Think of what elements are on a nutrition label and draw it out on a piece of paper. And when you're done, come on back here and we'll go over how you did. All right, hopefully that gave you enough time to jot down. Um, we're, gonna, we're gonna do this Kahoot activity in class, so don't fret. But we know, just kind of as a segue here, that there's this thing called my pyramid. Okay, and this is something that we probably have all heard of in our health classes um, and also just in the lunchroom at school. My pyramid tells us how much of each of the uh, different food groups we should eat. So we have our grains, our vegetables, our fruits, our fats and oils, our milk and our meats, fish, eggs and beans. So these are the recommended daily intakes for a 2000 calorie diet. So every day we should have at least six ounces of grain. You should make at least half of your grains whole. Two and a half cups of vegetables, two cups of fruit, limited intake of fats, oils, and sweets, at least three cups of milk or dairy products, and five and a half ounces of meat, fish, eggs, and beans. This is a nutrition label, and I want to walk you through all of the key components. And you can hit pause and read this a little bit in more detail if you'd like. The first thing I want to draw your attention to is towards the top where it says nutrition facts, serving size, and servings per container. Serving size is going to tell you how many ounces or numbers of candies or whatever the unit of measurement is um, in one serving of that food product. So that'll be there. And then it'll also tell you how many servings per container. So if it's in a larger container, um, let's say we have like a chocolate bar and a serving size is four little chunks of the chocolate bar. It might say four pieces and servings per container is four if there's 16 total pieces of um, candy within that candy bar because four times four is 16. So um, calories obviously tell you how many calories are in that food product and calories remember are a unit of energy um, and they come from carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. And we're gonna learn how to calculate a nutrition label based off of those properties here in a little bit. Um, calories from fat is the number of calories that come directly from fat. The percent daily value is what you're gonna find over on this side, over on the right-hand side of the nutrition label most commonly. And that's going to tell you um, by consuming one serving of that food product, what percent of your daily fat or cholesterol or sodium have you just ingested as a result of eating that serving. It's important to remember folks too that the nutrition label, all of the facts on here are from one serving. So if you want, if you eat that whole candy bar, of four servings, you need to multiply your fat, cholesterol, sodium, etc., all by four. Okay, that's important to know. We're going to talk about all of these other elements in a little bit more detail later, but I'd encourage you to hit pause and kind of read these on your own if you'd like. I don't have time with this limited five minute time limit thing on this recording software to do that, but I'd encourage you to hit pause so you know a little bit more about what these elements mean. So now you're probably wondering, Mr. Ramstead, how the heck are we going to calculate or figure this out? So to calculate calories, it's important to know that one gram of fat is equal to nine calories. One gram of carbohydrate is equal to four calories. And one gram of protein is also equal to four calories. So I want you on the right-hand side to practice calculating the amount of calories that come from these areas using the label. So figure out how many calories are um, from fat, how many calories are from carbohydrates, and how many calories are from proteins. Okay, so I'm going to give you about few seconds to finish those calculations up in your head. This should be pretty mental math. So for fat, the first thing we're going to do is we know that there are 12 grams of fat in this serving. Okay. So we're going to take 12 times nine because one gram of fat equals nine calories. That's going to give us 108. Same thing for carbohydrates and protein, except we're multiplying those values by four to get 124 calories from carbs and 20 calories from proteins. 